Hello, everybody. Uh, this is about energy vampires. Energy vampire. If you heard this expression uh, before 2006, I didn't invent it. Now, I think that often expressions like that, because it's only two words, can bubble up in the heads of different people at around the same time, especially if they're facing the same circumstances. And, you know, they like vampire movies. Um, and um, they also have a concept of somebody who's sapping their energy. So energy vampire is a person who presents themselves uh, into your presence and they take your mental energy and they drain you. Now, I don't even know if they are even aware that they are doing it. It's something that they do, though, however. And the problem is that if you're in some kind of social um, occupation or even in a political campaign, you want to help as many people as possible with the time that you have been given and the resources, which are always limited, that you can bring to bear on each case. So the energy vampire exhausts you and that takes away from your ability to help other people. So an energy vampire is often a person who complains but is not willing to participate in any way in the improvement of the situation. If you're in politics, there are actually people who will come into your office and yell at you for not winning. Meanwhile, you're trying to win. Okay. Oh, you get them. But that is a political energy vampire. They And they take a lot of your time. Oh, well, you should do this. Well, we have as many people as possible doing that right now. Oh, well, who's doing it? Well, the best people that we could possibly get at the time who were available to us uh, with the resources that we had. Oh, would you like to go out and join them? Oh, I've got other things to do that are more important than this. Okay. Anyway, um, well, sometimes you have to be the person who's last in line and has to deal with all of those people. Now, on the telephone now, we have call display. That helps a lot there because you'll soon. It's only, you know, maybe three or four people in, in each campaign, but um, you'll wind up spending about 20% of your time on those three people. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, if you've been in politics, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And they don't do anything for you either. They don't donate money. Uh, they don't put up signs. Uh, they don't make phone calls. <laughs> They don't knock on doors. They don't have anything interesting to say about policy. And we've got our channels for your policy. We're very interested in your ideas about policy because hopefully this is a democracy. But the energy vampire uh, attracts to places uh, way where they are allowed to go. Um, an energy vampire is also... Uh, a very uh, bad customer. Uh, they think that because they paid you $39 for something, they can talk to your tech support people for 25 hours uh, and continually recorrect and uncorrect problems that didn't even need to be corrected in the first place because they didn't know how it worked and many other things. The energy vampire, I think, is a lonely person. I think it, there's probably uh, 
some degree of truth to that. However, I'm afraid to say that being a lonely person is something that can be corrected fairly easily if you just get over the paralysis of fear that you have for going out, except when you're going out to tell people how the world should be uh, or, or, and not being willing to contribute it in any way uh, to make it better. The um, I've experienced them both at work and in political campaigns and uh, in other situations as well. And perhaps some of the energy vampires are uh, have a personality uh, traits. Yeah, I think that's what we say now. That could be quite dangerous. And you have to look at uh, empathy and see what kind of levels of empathy they may not have. And if they take too many uh, not empathetics, you got to kind of uh, be willing to call security or something like that and say, look, listen, madam, I, you really, uh, I've really got other things to do. There's a hundred other people that need uh, my attention right now. Uh, would you please leave? I'm sorry, but uh, we can't uh, continue this conversation anymore. I've answered all the questions that you've given me and I'm sorry, but you have got to go. It's, it's, it's a terrible thing that you have to say, but when you have an energy vampire, you've got to, uh, you've got to go. You know, it's funny, you go, <laughs> you go into uh, uh, shops that uh, are owned by people from certain parts of the world, and at the end of the transaction, they go, bye-bye now. <laughs> I love that. They go, bye-bye now. <laughs> You should think about that. Okay, bye-bye now. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, but um, that's a brilliant... I mean, you've paid for what you paid for. You got the goods. They're exactly what you wanted. <laughs> you've got to go. <laughs> sorry, but there's other people that may be in line. Okay. So it's, it's morally wrong to be an energy vampire. I would say that because you waste a lot of other people's time. The other fields of social activity where you get, get the energy vampire, it could be any kind of group. It could be a, a church, for example. It, it could be a, a, a scout group, or it could be a, a rock and roll band, it could be a, an orchestra, it could be any kind, kind of group where people are trying to do one thing together with a reasonable amount of frequency and tune so everybody hears, you know, a glorious wall of sound from them. <laughs> rather than one voice saying, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Why are we losing? Blah, 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 blah. Well, actually, we're not losing because everybody here believes we are going to win. That's why we're here. Um, yes, we all believe we're going to win. I don't care what the polls say. we got to move on. we got to do what we've got to do. So the energy vampire, this person here is someone, if they know that they've been an energy vampire, they should maybe... Uh, see the error in their ways and try to reform, okay? If you detect energy vampires, and they may be low on empathy, or they may be really bored. Now, if they're really bored, you can give them something to do, okay? If they're really sad, well, you've got to try and cheer them up a little bit. Uh, if they're really lonely, uh, maybe you could say, look, go sit in that chair over there, and read this policy document and see if you can find any flaws in it. Okay, whatever. And well, certain parties, you know, you've got a election manifesto about that thing. So that'll keep them quiet for a while. Anyway, um, watch out for energy vampires. They will only waste your time. They will keep you from going to where you want to go. It may not be... Uh, Valhalla or wherever you want to be ultimately or heaven, but it's certainly, uh, 
is going to get you there quicker by avoiding them. <laughs>